number one secret books, FASB 56, U.S. securities markets go dark. Yeah. And I want to tell you, this book uh, that you sent out about the FASB 56, I think it's, what, 200 plus pages. Right. It's only the first volume. And this is only the first volume. Folks, you've got to study this very, very carefully. And with your permission, I want to read some things that you wrote. In Please. This because this is very important for people to understand what the FASB 56 rules do. And this is something that you wrote during the Kavanaugh Supreme Court hearings. This is on page 36, and this kind of, to my mind, sums up what the FASB 56 regulations really do. And this is what you said, quote, the U.S. government just officially changed its governance model from a constitutional republic to fascism through an obscure accounting policy. No need to bother with a constitutional convention. And the result is, as you're pointing out, what does this mean for the sovereignty of U.S. securities, of, of, of treasuries, and so on. So you go on to say, so not only are U.S. sovereign bonds no longer sovereign, but the U.S. military that has heretofore served as the backbone of the U.S. financial strength is no longer a sovereign military. It is increasingly being privatized or replaced by private armies free to roam in U.S. territory as well, unquote. And the thing here that grabs me about that statement is that this is an accounting procedure which really does make that possible, and in turn privatization of, of security, of the military, in effect, is an end run around posse comitatus right. clause. Right. And if that's the case, that means any local, state, or other jurisdiction can hire these private armies and, and use them in order to enforce the status quo. This is very, very bad. Right. It's very frightening. It's, it's very basically... Frightening. It's as though you, you took the U.S. Treasury and turned it over to the mob yep. and gave them permission to do whatever they want in secret. Yep, exactly, exactly. So one of the things you see in Washington is people are constantly lobbying Congress to change rules or appropriate money that will do something that will make the stock market right, go up. Right, And what this means is every mercenary, you know, every Blackwater in the yep. world... Yep is bringing in proposals and saying, let us do this and we can make your stocks go up yep. and we can generate from those stocks this much in political contributions. Right. And so it's open season and any false flag, any covert operation, you can finance, That's no right. problem. That's right. That's right. And this, the problem here, and you raise this in this book, and again, folks, you've got to read this book. Uh, don't just put it on the coffee table. This is actually something to study and really absorb. Can I just mention, since you say that, you're going to have a way for your members to buy it. So it's subscribers right. only. The right. Giza Death Star members are going to have a vehicle, a way they can Right, and let me encourage it. you again to put this up on Lulu <laughs> for the general Well, eventually, eventually we will. Right.